Similar to the Argent Commander, I've been a lot more forward with you today than I usually am, <laughs> so I feel like I have charge, but that's because you make me feel really safe. Similar to the Divine Shield that the Argent Commander has. Aww. <laughs> so, thank you so much. I make much, you feel Jay safe? Virgil. Absolutely. You're Aww. so friendly, your laugh is just musical, and... All in all, <laughs> you're quite lovely. Oh, thanks, Trump. Oh, yeah! Yeah, wow, those two dragon consorts will work together. Just like... Just like you and I could work together. <laughs> yes, alright. Okay. The Madman! Oh, thank you for letting me know to... Oh, it's the mirror! But yeah, we'll put the ringtone at the beginning. The light shall burn you! You will regret this. Is this a race to draw Archbishop Benedictus? Even with Archbishop Benedictus going off, though, it doesn't necessarily go infinite. Huh. That was a strange play. Also, it didn't go off, so that's the only dragon. Is he saying that this card is so worthless that you should just play it? They have the follow-up bone drake. I'll play it. Oh, so it's not a race for Benedictus. You play the Benedictus second, so that you get both Benedictuses, I see. Mind if I roll Beware the shadow. Could play Bone Drake here, but I think that it's more important to just keep it going. I only have one playable card in my hand. I wonder if I should just play Anduin? Probably. Well, what's more important actually, the hero power or the hero power is probably better. I mean, for the Anduin. Right? Deal two damage? Is it better than heal? Yeah, it's probably better. After all, I have Amara, eventually. But who needs healing? I should probably play this to kill off a uh, Bone Drake. Afraid of Cabal Shadow Priest? Thank you. Brilliant. He just stole Benedictus, is my guess. My master will return. Mind reader. Well, oh, more stuff for me to Benedictus. But I think I have to hold Benedictus until I also draw Zola. You can Benedictus to get the Benedictus he took from you. He might draw his Benedictus, though. He might draw my Benedictus, I mean. Uh, but I guess I can statistically take the chances that he didn't, and that it's still in the stack. And I should just play my Benedictus when I draw it. It would be unlucky for him to have drawn it in like these two cards. One of the better cards to MC, I'll take it. Okay, good time to Anduin, since I'm killing something. Killing something that's not mine. Uh, do I prefer healing? Or do I prefer dealing 2 damage to his face? 2 damage to his face is pointless. 
This can eventually kill an 8 8. Like, there's Alex Straza and there's Amara, but. Getting this out for value is probably good. Also means I can kill the Marsh Drake. I can keep a running count on how likely it is that he's drawn Benedictus. Only these two cards so far, since these two cards are uh, uh, the reward and a bone drake card? No, and something else. No, it doesn't matter, I can always just solo Benedictus now. I should probably have played the Marsh Rick this turn. Yeah, this works okay. Noise just hero power the Marsh Drake. Then it doesn't uh, end up at three health, which is kind of good because it plays around Duskbreaker. I will be your doom. Ready? Aim. Duskbreaker. Hey. Okay, I don't think the opponent has Benedictus in his hand. So I can just play Archbishop Benedictus and it's fine. But I think better might be just playing Duskbreaker here. Duskbreaker Bone Drake. Put on the pressure. Next turn, Benedictus still. Darkness blessed him I can actually put on enough pressure to kill off the opponent. I believe Benedictus is the card that I want to Zillow back in this game. Yeah, that's gotta be right. It's better than Amara since uh, I'm on the front foot. But actually, now that I think about it, there's no real point, right? Because it's not like I can ever actually draw all these cards in time. That would be 44 turns. So it's pointless. So I should definitely Zilla Amara. Yeah. Also, there is the chance that Benedictus is in that deck. Very high chance. Beware the shadows. Shadows grow short. Faster in my swamp. I have a pretty big advantage right now, uh, and that is my hero pair. So yeah, the card that I'm going to Zola back will be Amara. Amara will probably not be that good, but it's still Amara. Carrion Drake doing work here though. Let's see, copy a card from your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. Do I want to play Benedictus first or second before killing that? I think the average card in this deck is less good than the cards in my deck. So I should play Benedictus first. It's like a pretty small difference. But it's a difference because it changes what you can get. There's the idea to Zola Alex Straza also, but that seems not very useful. I mean, it seems hard to pull off because Alex Straza will usually be met with a mind control or a death or an Anduin. Mind if I roll 
need. Play. I don't think this will go infinite. I think I'm keeping enough pressure to actually just kill him. Also, this is a really good Twilight's Call result. Give your opponent two coins is actually really annoying. I should have killed it with this thing. I'm dumb. Uh, this is fine. This is kind of okay. I didn't want to overdraw, so I'm just gonna play that. Yep, that's correct. Oh my god. Zola Amorous? Did you just draw that card? Because if you did, it means that I know for certain that I had a uh, Archbishop in my deck. Oh my god. Is that the card to Zola? I think so. Total darkness will be my revenge. Actually messed up. Is it that bad if I burn a card? It probably isn't bad at all. What card is essential for me? I have everything essential. It's fun. Problem with playing this one is the poisonous drakes there, and also this is about to be a 2016. Useless. Look at me. Be reborn in the heart. Yeah, boy. Wow. <laughs> and this is why Emerus was printed. Do I start him off with the 2016 or something bigger? Actually, I think it might be right to not do uh, any of these. Um, let me think. No, it's right. I mean, I have the death for the answer, so... Seems okay. If he answers this with actually mind control, then I win. If he plays Amara, then I win. Oh, Anduin would actually be a pretty good answer here. Oh, wow. That sucks. It's unlikely. Oh, that's really good. Oh my god. Oh right, the first Anduin was Camellia, so it's not even that he drew the second one. 
Or maybe even the third one. I've seen this turn before. Crap, not lethal. But it's still a good move. Wait, is it a good move? To have two big minions on it? It's, he would have to draw another Shadow Reaper yeah, under it. Ah, or Psychic Scream. Kind of want to only have one threat on the board. He would have played Psychic Scream if he had it. So his least good answer is Amara. Oh, there's the... Ah, I was afraid of that. I have lethal. <laughs> My hero power doesn't cost zero. Grow short. Darkness speaks to me. I bring think... That's right, actually. Okay, so good news, doesn't have an answer to Alex Straza like I suspected. Bad news, it's not lethal yet. Mind control, Mara. Um, right, I forget that. That's actually the biggest minion, pretty much. When I look at my 32 32s, I'm like, shouldn't I be mind controlling a 32 32? Oh, wait, I'm the one here. I'm the only one who can do that. Oh, that would be why to keep mind control around. Crap. Do you need to make sure to end up playing a card, otherwise I'll overdraw. I guess they're overdrawing it from Candle World. The shadows grow short. He doesn't really have a lot of mana to overdraw me with. But are you safe? Wait. Wait a second. I can decide after. The shadows grow short. Hitting him is pointless. God. I will mourn your death. I bring Do this, I guess. Is it time for a scream? Or maybe an maybe an Anduin? Didn't you want this in my deck? I guess not. Oh of course not. You want to draw the cards. Right. Okay. We can just kill him the old fashioned way. Into my 
The opponent will die. Slowly but surely the hero power. It's fine. Mind if I roll need? He's down to twenty one now. Darkness speaks to me. I'm mainly playing that for the four six. Maxed out at 60 cards apiece. I bring life and hope. I wonder if I can track what turn this is on. Pretty important that before the game actually ends that I at least throw in the Mara for the last chance. Uh, though I, you know, right now I'm... Oh. Yeah. Throw in Alex Strauss until he dies. Or do I Alex myself? Probably him. Idiots are pretty big threats. What have I done? Oh no. It feels like I threw somehow. I'm pretty sure I didn't throw. Anyways, I have more Alex Strauss in my deck, so it's okay. I will mourn your death. I wonder if he's out of answers for this thing. I mean, there's multiple Alex Trosses over there too, and I feel like if I play this, I might lose. No, I can't play that until I get Alexed, I think. Yeah, I mean, I have too many of these. The car uh, hand from them is pretty low, so this is like discard two cards. Alright, two choices. One, MC. Two... And I'll just MC. So my answer to Amara is Shadow Reaper Anduin. If you were to MC. He's out of answers. He had a really good string of shadow visioning into an answer, so feels like he might be out. Uncanny. Oh. Well, on the bright side, we have an Amari in our deck. Mind if I roll need? This is my game to lose. 
but it looks like just might be a tie. Actually, I could lose. No! Of all the cards, never lucky. Every single card in my hand gives me a card. Other than the few select ones. Time for the Primordial Drake beatdown. This is promising. Uh, what am I looking for? I need small AoE. Like Lash. Does Lash even still exist in our decks? would be a terrible scream also. It's denying him four cards. I guess we have to. I was hoping for a lash, but I'll take a scream. Tempted to mind control that, but probably, probably not a good play. No, I had a clear advantage. On the bright side, if this was a tournament, I'd win because I have more health. Ah, oh, losing that. So sad. I mean, not losing, but tying it. 